The Brave Tin Soldier There once was a boy who had 25 soldiers made of tin. He got them as a gift for his birthday. All the tin soldiers had bright red and blue uniforms with rifles on their shoulders. They all looked alike, except one. This tin soldier only had one leg, but he stood very straight just like the rest. The boy liked to put his tin soldiers on a table that had many other toys. One in particular was very pretty. There was a paper castle that had tiny windows and doors. In front of the castle was a little mirror that meant to look like a little pond. On it were lovely little swans. But the most beautiful thing about the castle was a little dancer who stood at the castle door. She was cut out of paper. She had on a beautiful dancer's dress and a blue ribbon across her shoulder. Her arms were stretched out and she stood on tiptoe with one leg high up in the air. Like the tin soldier, she too stood on one leg. And when the tin soldier saw her, he was in love. He thought her the most beautiful thing he had ever seen. When evening came and all the people in the house were asleep, the toys began to play. They made so much noise that even the canary woke up and began to sing. But the tin soldier with one leg did not move. He stood very straight and looked at the dancer. The dancer also did not move. She held herself perfectly still on her tiptoe. The next morning, when the children got up, the tin soldier was put on the windowsill. A strong wind pushed the window open, and the tin soldier fell to the street below. He fell into a crack in the street. The tin soldier stayed straight up, holding on to his rifle on his shoulder. A maid and a little boy came to the street to look for the tin soldier, but they could not find him. Then it began to rain. It rained a lot, and the street gutters were full of water. When the rain stopped, two boys playing in the street found the tin soldier. Look at this, they shouted. Let's make a boat for him and send him out to sea. So the boys made a boat from a newspaper and put the tin soldier inside. The paper boat floated up and down on the waves, but the tin soldier bravely stood straight and did not move a bit. He looked straight ahead. Suddenly, the paper boat drifted into a large drain in the street. It was very dark inside. Where am I going? wondered the tin soldier. 
Oh, if only the dancer was on this boat with me, I would be the happiest soldier in the world, thought the tin soldier. The currents in the drain took the paper boat straight to the canal. The little boat twirled around and around. Once in the canal, the boat filled with water and began to sink quickly. The brave tin soldier still did not move, but stood straight, and he held on to his rifle. As the boat sank deeper into the water, the paper fell apart. The tin soldier sank quickly into the water, and he thought of the lovely little dancer whom he will never see again. Just as he was sinking, the tin soldier was swallowed by a fish. It was very dark inside the fish, but even so, the tin soldier was brave. He lay straight, facing forward with his rifle on his shoulder. Then the tin soldier felt the fish twist. After a while, he saw a flash of light and then bright sunshine. And he heard someone shout, The tin soldier! The fish that ate the tin soldier had been caught, brought to the market, sold to the cook who opened up the fish with a big knife. And the cook brought the tin soldier into the living room where the children were. And what strange things happen in this world. The tin soldier was back.